In today's video, we're taking a look at how to install a bidet easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. So one thing you learned from the pandemic is that toilet paper is very important. So saving toilet paper seems like the next step. Or maybe you just like water. Don't worry, here at the Statabox team, we're gonna help you get that water where it needs to go. So this kit comes with everything that you need. So this particular bidet has two spray nozzles. And on the control knob, you can access that by either going to the women option, to the wash option, and it even has a nozzle cleaning option to wash itself. But if that's not enough, you also have another knob then you can control from low to high how much pressure you get. So if you need extra power, you can go ahead and set it to high. Inside the package, we have the owner's manual, or how we like to call it, barbecue paper. We have wrenches, we have Teflon tape, adjustment plate with gasket, we have the water hose, we have T-adapter, plastic and metal, and we have the bidet attachment itself. So as you can see, everything is included on the kit. And the great thing, this goes for under $50. Now we're ready to install. So let's get your owner's manual and get it out the way. But if you want, here's a little glimpse. Let's go ahead and lower the toilet seat so we can have access to the screws that hold down the seat in place. You'll notice some tabs at the back that you can raise using your finger or using a flathead screwdriver to do so. The screws that hold down your seat could be flathead or Phillips screw. We use the ancient rule of lefty loosey, righty tighty to loosen. In some cases, you would have to hold the nut on the other side of the screw so it won't turn as you loosen. We go ahead and do both sides, we remove the screw and hold on to the nut. We can remove the toilet seat and hopefully everything's clean. Now locate it to one of the sides of the toilet at the bottom. We follow the water hose and shut the water off. A pro tip, is always good to have a towel laying down when working with connection. So this is the time where you get your family member, friend or loved one towel and throw it on the ground. Now that the water's off, we can go ahead and loosen the hose from the toilet tank. Always remembering lefty loosey, righty tidy. We choose the T-adapter that best suits our needs, either plastic or metal. In this case, we chose plastic. Because we have plastic connections, we're gonna stay with plastic. But the one you choose is your option. Remember, you are the king, queen, both or none of your castle. Just don't let Watson know. Before connecting, we wanna verify that the gasket is inside of the T-adapter. Once we finish tightening, we wanna remember to have the side connector facing forward. Now we're ready to place our hose back. We go ahead and take the hose provided on the kit and take the wider side and connect it to our T adapter. Also verifying that our gasket is in there. We always wanna make sure that everything is tight and snug. On the kit, you also have Teflon tape that you can use to add to the connection. We can take our bidet attachment and on the back side, we're gonna connect the holes that comes from the T adapter to the bidet attachment. Always remembering that we have the gasket before placing it in. You can use the provided wrenches to tighten or you can even use pliers. Remember, because everything's plastic, you don't wanna go too tight because you have to take in account your strength. We all know what your hands can do. We go ahead and place the attachment on the toilet, then place our circular adjustment plate with the rubber gasket already pre-installed and align the holes on the plate with the holes on the toilet. Now that you played that video game, you're ready to place your toilet seat. Meanwhile, you hold the attachment and place the screws back on your toilet. This is a great time to call Watson for some holding help. We tighten the screws, meanwhile we hold the nut on the bottom and twist. Once we feel it tight, that would be enough. Always remember to align the toilet seat before you fully tighten to your bottom spec. 
we can place the flaps back down and depending on your toilet configuration you could be done but in our case because we placed the bidet in between the toilet seat and the toilet it has risen the throne to an uncomfortable position and the last thing you want inside your house is to clip any skin in any place of your body with the toilet seat so that is why we're going to install toilet seat bumpers that you can get at your hardware store for about two dollars so according to your throne's specifications you want to install the bumpers in locations then when you put the seat down it touches the toilet now that we saved lives we're ready to test this bad boy girl both or none and see what it's capable of if we take the bottom knob and place it to the right we have the nozzle cleaning option to the left side, we have the women's option, and in the middle, we have the regular wash. So the difference between the wash and the women's option is that it's gonna throw the water from one of the two nozzles, and it's gonna land in a different location. So either women, man, both, or none, you have an option for the spray to land in different targets. And on the top knob, we have the pressure dial. It goes from low to high. One thing to take in consideration when purchasing this style of bidet is that it's gonna connect to your cold water supply. So using this in winter time, you might need a robe after using. We wanna go ahead and turn the water back on and confirm that there's no leak. But if you ever wanted a pool inside your bathroom, this is the time to do it. We have a flap that covers both nozzles to access for cleaning. So if we place it on wash right on the middle, it's going to spray from the left side looking forward. Always remember to have the flap closed when using, unless you want to spray Watson with toilet water. As you can see, I'm able to score without the goalie be able to block. That's one point for home team. If we place the knob to nozzle cleaning, this would be the self-cleaning option. So what it basically does is spray water onto itself and realistically hoping that nothing has stuck in there real good. If we place it to the other side, we place it on the woman option. And you'll see that the right nozzle would spray and compared to the left one, it does spray to a different location. And now you can pat yourself on the back for a job well done. You become Aquaman. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Either someone in the Statabox team or someone in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.